After being served with an eviction letter from Kampala City Council Authority to vacate the controversial building, the Chief of Intelligence Services, David Tinyafonso, argues that the building is currently being used as a coordination center for intelligence and security. Tinya Fonza, who did appear to address journalists, having keeping them waiting for over an hour, instead sent one of the workers in the intelligence department to read the statement on his behalf. In the statement, Tinya Fonza stressed that the property wasn't for his personal use as the media always quoted. He added that the property was for the government in its efforts to maintain peace and security in the country. General says, if she dares to evict, to come here, because he is in charge of security and is the coordinator of security. By the time she goes back to the state council, it will be evicted by security. On Tuesday this week, Kampala City Council Authority, KCCA, served the general with the notice to leave the premise before 2nd August and hand over the multi-million official mayor's residence or instead be forcefully evicted. The house at the center of the controversy is the official mayoral residence. It was given to General Tinya Funza in March 2008 by the then local government minister, Kahindo Tafire, who cited security reasons for the giveaway. If Musisi wants to evict, she should evict security. She should write to the minister in charge of security, not Tinya Funza as a person. Tinya Funza is telling Musisi that she should just spare his name. One is a general, two, he has fought in many wars. Kampala City Council Authority is currently in the process of reviewing the status of all its assets under Section 19 of the Kampala City Council Act 2010. The Act states that the executive, the executive director shall be the custodian of all assets and records of the authority. Maurice Ochoa, NTV, tonight.